What did you then do? Then I knocked that third guy right through plate glass window into the street. Wow. You sure took care of that sucker. It's a man's world, Billy Joe. You gotta be tough to survive. Hey, let's get some food. I could eat a horse. Man, would you look what's on the back of that truck? That really bugs me. Only a gutless idiot would have that up there. Jesus was sissy. Matter of fact, dude? Yep. Howdy. I heard what you said about Jesus being a sissy. Uh, is this your truck? It sure is, little fella. How's about you boys joining me for some supper? Uh, yeah, thanks. Man, you see the size of that guy? Watch your mouth, Billy Joe. Have a seat, gents. Bow your heads, fellas. Thank you, Father, for this food in Jesus' name. How did I get myself into this? Duke, what makes you think Jesus was a sissy? In my book, a man that turns another cheek is a chunk. Dude, if God Almighty could turn himself into a man, like us, with all that power still inside him, and some dude asked him to fight, who would win? Hey! That wouldn't be a fair fight. The God-man would kill him. Then the God-man should turn his cheek? He'd have to. It'd be like fighting a bionic man. Only worse. Let me shake you up, dude. The Bible says Jesus created the universe. He was God Almighty in the flesh. Jesus is the God-man. Are you kidding? No, Duke. His mission was to come to this planet to save your neck. I don't understand. Me either. If your house was on fire, you and your wife and kids were sleeping, and I drove by and I saw it burning and I didn't wake you up because I knew you'd be uptight, what would you think of me? You mean we all got burnt up because you didn't warn us? That's right. Man, I'd hate you. I'd curse you forever. I'd never forgive you. You'd be the worst kind of murderer. Then listen good, Duke. Your house is on fire. You're going to hell on a grease pole and Satan is laughing his head off. What? Are you crazy? What's taking so long? The food's getting cold. Two powerful persons are fighting for you. And right now the devil's got you. And you're so blinded you don't even know it. The Bible says, all have sinned. That's you, Duke. And come short of the glory of God. That means you're not going to heaven. Then I'm going to hell and fry forever? That's right, Duke. But you don't have to. You mean I should stop boozing and swearing and cheating on my old woman? And start going to church and lead a good life? Nope. It wouldn't do you any good, Duke, because you'd still be going to hell. <gasps> That's what I'm doing. I need more coffee. Where's that waitress? Hold it, partner. The only good thing you said was I didn't have to go to hell. Just what did you mean by that? Let's go back to the one you called a sissy. Would you have guts enough to go into a town where you knew they were going to kill you? Man, no way. He did, dude. He did it for you. When he got to that town, they framed him. And they beat him with a whip that had chunks of metal and bone in it. It cut his arteries. He was in shreds. He should have died before they nailed him on the cross. You see, Duke, he was beaten to a pulp for you. That's how much he loved you. The Bible says, His visage was so marred more than any man. Then he died on the cross. He shed his precious blood to wash away your sins. He was executed for your crimes against God. He arose from the dead. Now he's in heaven sitting at the right hand of God the Father. When he comes back to rule this earth in a few years, people will run and hide. That's when Jesus wipes out the world's armies who fight him at the Battle of Armageddon. Jesus is going to do that? Yup. He's coming in power and glory. Now comes the rough part. On doomsday, when all those who died in their sins face Jesus as their judge, the Bible says, 
from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. He'll send them to the lake of fire. And you called him a sissy? So what do I do to get his blood to wash away my sins? Duke, Jesus said, repent. That means turn from your sins, ask Jesus to come into your heart and forgive you, and he will. Let's pray. Can I pray that too? You bet. Why don't you sit down and join us? Where's Martha? I must be going nuts. Is that a prayer meeting I see going on over there? I found out something when we prayed in the restaurant yesterday, Billy Joe. What's that, Bill? That Jesus has more guts than any man that ever lived. And I love him for that. Me too, dude. Me too. <laughs>